as a review, you learned that a set of 16th notes is counted as one E and a. Uh. Ready? Go. One E and a. Uh. And you learned that a quarter note is as long as four sixteenths tied together. It's one clap for four sixteenth notes. One E and a. Uh. Ready? Go. One E and a. Uh. So it's one clap for four sixteenths. The quarter rest is as long as four sixteenth rests. One E and a. Uh. Ready? Go. One E and a. Uh. So let's practice some patterns. I'll demonstrate this one first. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Ready? Go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's do the next one. This one I'll demonstrate on the keyboard. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, and a. Uh. Your turn. Ready? Count. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So the next one I'm going to demonstrate by tapping it. One E and a, two E and a, sorry, I'll do it again. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, 4E and uh, your turn. Ready? Go. 1E and 2E uh, e and 3E uh, e and 4E uh, e and. Uh. So you know the, the quarter rest equals 4 16th rests, and the quarter note is the same as 4 16th notes tied together. So now you're seeing 4 16th notes tied together. 1E and a. Uh. And when we count, clap it, we're going to go one, E, and, a, uh, Just like you see, one, E, and, a. Uh. If I played it on the keyboard, it would be one, E, and, a. Uh. It's just one note, note held for all the ties. Let's clap and count. Ready? Go. One, E, and, a. Uh. Let's go to the next one. So the quarter note is the same as four sixteenth notes tied. Ready? Go. One E and a. So we have some patterns here, and what happens in these patterns is both are the same. Watch this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Look at that again. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Look at a clap and count the top. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, and the bottom's the same. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Let's go to the next one. So now. The four sixteenth notes tied together is the same as a quarter note. Watch the two together. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. I'm sorry they're not lined up. I could not get the program to do it, but I know you can handle this. So I'm going to play this one. One E and a, two E and a, three E and. A, four, E, and, uh, and you just keep your finger on the key for that. Let's clap and count this. Ready? Go. One, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, three, E, and, uh, four, E, and, uh. Let's go to the next one. So now we have two sixteenth notes. Count it as one, E. Ready? Go. One, E. If you tie two sixteenths, it's one E. Let's try that together. Ready? Go. 
one E. So you clap the first and you tie into the second. You hold it. If I played it on the keyboard, it would be one E. One note held for two sixteenths. Two sixteenths tied equals an eighth note. Look at this has a flag. A single eighth note has a flag. So this is one E. This is one E. They're the same thing. So let's take a look at these patterns. These two are the same. One E and a. Uh. Let's clap and count the first one. Ready? Go. One E and a. Uh. That goes one E and the. Uh. The next one. 1, E, and uh, is the same thing. Ready? Go. 1, E, and the. Uh. Let's take a look at the next one. So, 1, E, and the. Uh. Now we have the eighth note here, which equals 2 sixteenths. So, this is counted 1, E, and the. Uh. Ready? Go. 1, E, and the. Uh. So, that's held. This one is the same. It's one E and da. Uh. Ready? Go. One E and da. Uh. So I'm going to clap and count both of them. One E and da. Uh, two E and da. Uh. I'm going to play them on the keyboard. One E and da. Uh, two E and da. Uh. Your turn. Clap and count. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and da. Uh. Do the same thing. All right, so now we have pairs of patterns that are identical. I'll, I'll point to both. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, and I apologize for them not being lined up vertically, but I think you can see the difference. Ignore this, that's a measure bar line that was left over in there. So, let's clap and count the top one. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and. Uh. If you did it correctly, it would be one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and. Uh. Let's do the bottom. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Let's go to the next one. The top one, if I played it on a keyboard, would be one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, and that's a silent rest. Here's the bottom one. Same thing. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. let's clap and count the top. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. bottom one. Ready? Go. One E and uh, two E and uh, 3E and uh, 4E and da. Uh. Let's go to the next one. Ready? Go. 1E and 2E uh, e and 3E uh, e and 4E uh, e and uh. So if you hear yourself clapping this, you're not doing it correctly. It should be 3E. It's two eighth notes, sixteenth notes in one. Let's do this one. Ready? Go. 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh. Let's go to the next one. So we're going to do some practice ones now. Ready? Go. 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh. Let's go to the next one. Ready? Go. 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh. and just for fun I'm going to play it on the keyboard with various notes 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 
three E and a four E and a. So it's how the notes are moving. The notes can change pitch as they go along, but they move the same way in rhythms. Okay, let's do the next one. Remember, this is four E and a, because this one has to equal two sixteenths. Ready? Go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's go to the next one. I'll play this one on the keyboard. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's clap and count. Ready? Go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And the next one, ready, count. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. This one might be tricky for some of you, so I'm going to clap along with you. One E and a, two E and a. 3E and a, 4E and a. And let's clap and count this. 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. So now, go to your Google Doc, and you're going to type A or B for each one. Okay, so here I'm going to clap this. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. And I'm even going to play it on the keyboard. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So that's number one, type A or B. Number two. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. I'll play it on the keyboard. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Let's go to number 3. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. I'm going to play it on the keyboard. 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. Let's go to number 4. 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. And I'll play it on the keyboard. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Let's go to 5. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. I'll play it on the keyboard. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Let's go to 6. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Let's, uh, I'll play for you on the keyboard. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E Let's go to seven. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And I'll play it on the keyboard. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Since that was sloppy, I'm going to do it again. One. And number eight. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and 
da. I'll play it on the keyboard. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. You might want to go back and uh, scroll back and check all these. Make sure you remember to click submit when you are done. And once again, for every number, you have to have an answer A or B.